Hello and welcome everyone. It is time for Jim Comics Top Picks for New Comic Book Day this upcoming Wednesday, December 16th, 2020. We have got another good week of books coming as usual. Uh, I'll talk about what I'm looking at this week. Um, I got. I want to talk about a bunch of books that Disney related to what Disney talked about in their upcoming movies and TV shows and stuff. A few of the ones I'm excited about. I got a spec book for you I want to talk about. <laughs> comic uh, there's so much stuff to talk about anyways we'll get into it um thank you so much to all my subscribers on youtube and followers on instagram and a real big shout out to all my youtube followers this week because uh, i just hit 10,000 on youtube which is a pretty big milestone and man i never ever thought i would get anywhere close to that i've said that a few times and uh yeah i started doing this just a little over three years ago i was right about this, this is november of 2017 i actually started my first video came out and I remember at the time, Comic Tom, I think, was just starting out then, and, and Nick the Knob uh, with his key collector app had just started up, and Comics with Bueller just started up. So a bunch of us kind of all started around the same time, and it's really taken off. And anyways, I just want to say a big thank you, because I never, ever thought I'd get this anywhere close to this. I was just wanted to talk comics, so... <laughs> That's why I still keep doing it. And um, it's funny because back then I would get a few of my first videos, I'd get people leaving comments like, oh, none of these books will be worth any of these new books. And they buy, only buy Silver Age. And I back then I said it, and I still say it, all the key books throughout history at one point were brand new on the shelf. So <laughs> I don't get those comments anymore. <laughs> As you can, as you can guess, with all the stuff going to movies and TV shows, and anyways, great time to be collecting. Say it all the time. Uh, talking about the knob, don't forget about his Key Collector Comics app. Give it a one week trial if you want. If not, hey, pass on it, whatever you want. But I, uh, I like it. it's a great tool. We'll get into what I'm looking at this week. Um, again, it's kind of a lighter week. I think it's just that time of year, which is hey, I'm okay. Everybody's buying stuff for Christmas, so. Um, I'll go through my indies to start with. Uh, Dark Horse got Cyberpunk 2077, Trauma Team number four, just the one cover. And that game dropped this week. My son, uh, pretty sure he bought it. But uh, anyways, um, Keanu Reeves is uh, in there as one of the, um, Johnny Silverhand is one of the main characters, which is pretty cool. So he's obviously back in that. Um, but anyways, that uh, that book is out. I've got the first few issues. I want to get the last. I think this is the last one, if I if I remember right. I'm pretty sure it's a four part miniseries. Coincides with the game coming out, so pretty cool. I want to make sure I get finished that off. Uh, one from Image. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick this up. Post Americana number one. There's a whole bunch of covers for it. Uh, I'll be honest. I'm I'm gonna kind of have to flip through that one at my uh, at my shop and see what's going on with that. But uh, that's what I'm looking at. Uh, from Titan. Got Blade Runner 2029, um, issue number one is out. Cover is a Momoko cover, which is, I'm going to grab that just because it's a Momoko cover. There's a bunch of covers for this one as well, but I'm only getting the one uh, Momoko one. And these are all canon, like like the last um, Blade Runner series that came out. This series is canon as well for the in continuity and everything, so I'm definitely buying this. Um... From Scout, we've got Sam and his Talking Gun, number one, just the one cover. There was an ash can for this that came out. Uh, I can't remember which Comic-Con it was through. Might have been New York Comic-Con. I, I don't remember, but I know there was an ash can for this. Um, you can you can find those out, out in the wild, but um, not a lot of them printed, but I'm, I'm going to try and pick that one up because it looks pretty good. I want to definitely get that one. And from Boom, I'm doing these totally out of order. Um, we only find them when they're dead. Number four is out this week. Got three covers for that. As usual, there's a bunch of really nice cover. Man, I like the covers. And there's a second print for number three out this week as well. Really like, uh, I love, love, man, I love what Boom's doing with their books. From DC, got a few from them. Batgirl, number 50, the second print is out. I don't have a cover image for that, so that might be one if they sneak a lot of times dc just changes the color in the background but if for some reason they change the cover of that and you get a, a low print um, it won't be that low but it'll be lower than a lot of them um try to get that one that might be a good one this week uh batman 105 got the three covers that you usually get cover a and b both pretty nice covers i just go with cover a and then you got your cover c which is your one for 25 i know a lot of people are getting those uh, and then Teen Titans Winter Special one shot. There's two covers for it, and it sounds like there's a new um, villain showing up in there. I don't know, but I may get that one. Might or may not be a new villain in there. Kind of the solicitation makes it sound like there is, so we'll see. That's it from DC for Marvel. I got one book this week, and it's one of my favorites: Immortal Hulk number 41. 
two covers for that, A and B. And uh, like, I was, like I mentioned in my last video, I think something's coming with Jackie McGee. It sounds like uh, she's been there the whole way through. She was with the Hulk in Hell. And I think, of it, like I say, with, I talked about 44 last video, where uh, it sounds like something's going to happen to her. And eventually she's going to become um, a mortal, the mortal reporter. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. That is it for the books I'm looking at this week. My picks this week, um, Batgirl number 50, that second print. I think that one's a good one to get. Um, I like that Blade Runner 2029 um, issue number one, cover A, the Momoko cover. And Sam and his talking gun number one. Those are my three picks. That's all I got, just the three books. Not a huge week, but uh, some good stuff mixed in there. So I want to talk about uh, Disney real quick because, uh, as you know, by now I know all, you, most of you know this. The big one to me was um, was Gore getting announced that Christian Bale is going to be playing him in the upcoming uh, Thor movie, which is man, that's huge because pretty much the entire uh, story with Gore revolves around him finding the Necro Sword and becoming the God Butcher. So unless he just kind of has a cameo in this movie. And then they play it out more down the road or it branches off into something else. I don't know. But um, if there's even a glimpse or a hint at the Necrosword in this movie, holy crap. I know a few, the light bulb has gone off for a lot of people. But if, if you have not got, because uh, this book, I mean, if you didn't have this, this Thor run, man, you're going to pay through the nose for it now. <laughs> it's just, and I have to give a shout out to CBSI. They had an article, I remember seeing an article, I think it was this cover too, I remember seeing an article on uh, CBSI, I want to say three, four years ago, and I don't remember who wrote it, it might have been Topher that wrote it, I, I can't, I have to, if I knew, I, if somebody knows, let me know and I'll give them, a sh I'll give them credit, but I like to give people credit, but they had spec on this, on this run of Thor three or four years ago and said it was a good one to get, and man, were they bang on, they were way ahead of the curve on that one, so good shout out to... Uh, CBSI and whoever whoever it is that uh, mentioned that, a good on you for that one. But anyways, talk about the Necrosword. If uh, so, yeah, this one's obviously jumped way up, and that's really exciting. And Christian Bale, man, he's gonna kick ass in that. But you know, I know you all know this because if uh, if that Necrosword or even a hint at it shows up, this Venom Three is gonna go through the roof, and it tells you the direction that um, that uh, Marvel and, and Sony are going. And holy cow! And make sure you get these books if you don't have them if you're in the market for these i highly suggest you pick them up now because these have kind of cooled off a bit they were this this was a really really hot book there for a while and with uh the market's gotten saturated with the king and black stuff right now so other people are looking at other things um and these like i say these have kind of cooled off but man oh man if you want to get these i really recommend you get them soon because just like with this Thor uh, run, it's the prices are going to explode as soon as... It's only a matter of time. If it isn't with, with Gore, at some point, Noel's going to be there. So just get it if you <laughs> if you don't have it. Um, and the other... And a couple of... One of the other ones they're really excited about, uh, Riri Williams coming. I remember showing this one as a spec book shit probably a year and a half ago. Talking about her first full appearance. And um, I remember at the time, uh, a bunch of you got it. So good on you if you did, because that's, uh, that's a good book to get. And I'm also really excited about uh, Tim Roth coming back and reprising his role as Abomination. This was a this is a good book. I showed this one I don't know a year or so ago, but uh, that that character, man, I love Abomination. And you know, it's to me. I also think this Red Hulk is there's there hasn't been anything specific said about the Red Hulk that I I've seen. I mean, there's been rumors about. Uh, him coming and everything else, but it, again, it's only a matter of time, folks. You want to try and get the books that people aren't uh, all hot and bothered about because the prices are a little cheaper. If you haven't got them, the time to get them was nobody's talking about them. So if you don't have the Red Hulk number one, man, pick it up if you can afford it and if you can find it, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I want to talk about crossover too. I talked about this in my last video and I've seen a few comments on Instagram from people saying, oh yeah, you know, it's an okay story. It's not really going anywhere. And you know, I wouldn't buy it if Donny Cates wasn't writing it. And man, are you, I'm going to, I'm going to show some images and talk about this. So if you haven't read it, I'm turn it, turn it off or skip ahead, but there, some big stuff is coming in. As you know, Superman, like the little girl, Ava, uh, at the end of the first issue, she drew a picture of Superman. So, and even in, I mean, the Superman is mentioned 
several times throughout the book, and I can put an image on the screen. I mentioned it where I couldn't find it, but there was an article I, um, uh, that I found. It was, I, I knew I'd read it. It was back in January, and it was um, Jim Lee and uh, Donnie Cates were teasing a um, crossover event. And obviously, you've got a series called Crossover, so <laughs> duh, do the math. And you've got, you had the time, you had um, Donny Cates draw uh, uh, Venom on a blank cover. Or no, it was just I think it was just an image of Venom. I'll put an image on the screen. And then Jim Lee uh, inked it. So, I mean, it, it's just kind of symbolic that uh, the two of them are working together. And then you had uh, Thor number two, which of course had it. You got those glimpses of the DC characters racing off to their doom and everything else, and it looked like they got uh, killed off. Um, so it's I man, I really think that there, this is going to be like, and that um, back in um, Donny Cates being kind of the main writer at Marvel right now, in my opinion, he's kind of linking everything together. I think he's link. It's going to be a crossover event between DC. Marvel and Image Comics. I think the three of them are getting uh, a crossover. So this is this is. I hope you I hope you got this. Is all I'm saying. So I want to show the image. I know I'm sure a lot of you saw. Is in the middle in the section is about there's this big splash page of a jail scene and you got uh, Batman sitting there. You've got Wonder Woman. It looks like Green Arrow um, in that on that page and on the next page you've got Spawn. You got Spider Man. You got Cosmic Ghost Rider. He's giving the finger to the guy, which is kind of funny. And then there's this kid who's who's um, he's the one who torched the comic shop in the first issue. Is given this gun with what looks to be a kryptonite bullet, um, and he's told to go to the dome and he's going to have to obviously shoot somebody or something. And then the young girl Ava, right on the last page, you see her eyes. She blasted a rat with her laser beam eyes. So obviously, to me, she's the son, she's the uh, daughter of Superman, um, or related to Superman somehow, or from from the planet. I don't know. But uh, um, it's funny that Superman's son, when he was just getting John, when he's just first getting his powers, he um, blasted a cat with his laser eyes, and in this, uh, Ava blasts a rat. So kind of funny that it, it's pretty symbolic that, uh, that that's happening but anyways the, the reason I bring all that up is I really I know like I say I, there's some people that to me aren't grasping where this is going I think this is going to be a massive crossover series that's my opinion I'm getting them all I'm getting all of the um, the one for tens that's something I'm picking up I got the one for ten for number two I've already pre-ordered them for the rest of the series I did not get the one for number one so I had to, I ordered that off eBay just the other day, but, um, I, yeah, pay attention to that series. <laughs> That's all I can say. And I want to talk about Daredevil for a bit, because again, paying attention to books when nobody else is paying attention to them is a, is a really good idea. And I know all you all know this, 610 was your first full appearance of the Vigil. Um, this series had the second print, which came out on July, if I remember right, I think it was July 10th, um, of last year. And this was only about 2,300 print run. But but I don't know, and I didn't at the time, but I was digging through my comic shop's back issue bins, looking through some Daredevil stuff, and I came across 609, which I had. Um, but then I came across the second print of 609, which is technically your first appearance. Only uh, two panels of the of the Vigil in here. I love that character. I don't know if anything's going to happen with it, but anytime I'm going to get a second print, it's a great cover. And there, this was only 1,800 printed, so... If you uh, have a comic shop near you, go look through the back issue bins of Daredevil because uh, people aren't paying any attention to Daredevil right now other than issue 25. Um, and if you can find the second on, sec, uh, 609 second print, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's like I say, it's 1800 print run and that's a gorgeous cover and that is your first appearance of the, uh, the Vigil in there. 610 is his first cover appearance, but that is a really, really good book and it's, I got it for cover price. So if you can find it for cover, and you're not going to find something for cover and it's uh, got a key character, I'm buying it. So that is it, folks. That's all I got for you. There's some really good books. Uh, like I say, if you have not got Venom number three, I mean, I've been saying it since it came out. If, anyways, you just you need that book. It's all I can tell you. I mean, and because like I say, if if Gore gets that sword, um, boy, look out. It just depends on you know what Marvel and Sony got planned and everything else, and who knows what they're gonna do. But I can't see how he doesn't because at some point 
if he becomes uh, unless he's just a cameo over here like i say of him and you just see him go off and do something else maybe it's maybe it's years from now down the road who knows but yeah anyways <laughs> you know where that's going all right folks take care happy hunt talk to you later in the week bye for now